Hi bunnies, long time no see. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I figured now's the best time to make it up to. I finally got a little bit of free time. So I'm sure you've noticed by now that um, your general got their hair cut. Um, I kind of just got sick of having the long hair and I really like how it looks now. Um, if some of you are friends with me on Facebook, you already know about my haircut. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to all my viewers, but I also got a tattoo, um, last year up on my uh, right shoulder here of a bat. Um, if you're friends on me on Facebook, you can see that too. And I believe I posted it up on my like page on Facebook, my, um, fan page, so you can, um, add me on there, and I'll put the links at the bottom. Um, today I wanted to talk about, um, my coming out story. I, I guess you could call it, um, I actually only recently... I guess, I, I don't know how else to say it came out of the closet, um, doesn't sound like the proper term. Um, I am pansexual, and um, I can't speak for everyone, you know, but pansexual to me is um, liking a person for a person, not necessarily the gender that they are, or even if they're transgendered. Um, in a relationship, I don't really think about that. I just think about the person that they are. They could be male, female, transgendered, um, non-gendered, whatever they prefer to profile themselves as. Um, and I will go out with that person. It has nothing to do with gender to me. Um, I probably spoke about this in my gender video, but this is kind of just a FYI for people that didn't know, but, um, my coming out story, I actually came out really recently, um, it was actually just last year that I came out to, um, the one person I knew in my family that wouldn't judge, um, and it actually took me a while to come out to her, um, my mother, but I felt better when I finally did. Um, I actually came out to her in two ways, by telling her I was pansexual and genderqueer. And, um, if you don't know what genderqueer is, once again, um, genderqueer is either not relating to a specific gender at all, or um, I kind of have it as my own thing as I'm fairly masculine with, I have a fairly masculine side and I'm extremely in touch with it. So I consider it genderqueer that I don't relate to a specific gender, but my male side is very prominent within my looks and the way I act. So that's genderqueer for me. And um, I, it, it took me a, a while to work up the courage to do it, but I kind of just got fed up with keeping it a secret. Um, and I know that it's not as huge, you know, because when you come out as being homosexual or a lesbian, um, it's a little more difficult because, you know, you're liking that gender and that gender alone. And for some reason in our society, that's way more of a big deal than liking, than either being bisexual or being pansexual, which I find very odd, but society isn't very accepting, unfortunately. So when I came out, I kind of just approached my mom, you know, she kept asking me what had been wrong, you know, I had been acting differently. 
and um, I finally just turned to her and I said, I need to tell you something, you know, it's very important, but I need to get it out because, you know, I've talked to my friends about this and I've asked them, well, how do I do it? You know, I, I knew that she would accept me, but it was still a little daunting of a task because I had never come out to anyone in my family about it. So I came up to my mom finally and I just outright told her, I'm like, you know, I, I got to tell you this, you know, and I can't keep it in any longer. And she looked at me and thankfully I have a very supportive mother and she told me that, you know, I will love you no matter what and I don't care who you're with as long as you're happy and as long as they treat you good. So, you know, of course I got all choked up and everything. So, and not many people get that, you know. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk about the fact that since not many people get that, this is kind of a video to say, hey, you know, there are people out there that will accept you whether you are lesbian, whether you are a homosexual, you know, whatever it may be, whether you are bi, transgendered, genderqueer, pansexual, that there are more of us out there and it does get better and I, I didn't expect this to be a does get better video, but it does get better. So, it's tough, you know, you shouldn't just outright say it. I was only able to outright say it because I have a supportive mother, and she's one of the few supportive people within my family. Um, so, I felt safe telling her. Um, I don't know if any of my other f family members will see this and watch this, but if they do, you know, this is it, you know, now you know. So, when I came out to her, she, of course, you know, accepted me and everything, but a lot of people don't get that they've gotten very violent outbursts or they've gotten fights and it can be really difficult to be in a situation like that. I've heard about some people that have ha had to call f friends and family members to come and get them out of that situation and it's tough, you know. Don't feel like you have to be pressured to open up about it right away. Do it when you're ready and when you feel in a safe enough spot in your life and in who you are to open up about it to either the people that may not be very supportive of it or to those people that will be supported of it. And if, you know, you want to keep it a secret still from those that aren't very supportive open up to those people who are supportive and ask them, you know, well, you're my friend or you're a very close person to me and my family and let them know, you know, this is important. I need to tell someone, but I need to keep it a secret for now. It's not easy to express something like that, to a group of people that aren't accepting um, and I kind of have come out of multiple closets I guess you could say because I've come out of the broom cupboard as a Wiccan I've come out of the coffin as a goth um, I've come out of the closet as being pansexual and genderqueer so I've only come out to one person really though. If you can find that one person, whether it be a friend, family member, and open up to them about it, then it starts to make the process a little bit easier for not only you, but for other people too. Because 
they'll notice that you're less stressed about it because you've opened up to at least someone. And even though they may not know what's going on and they may not be able to, you know, help you out with it, at least you're opening up to someone. And, you know, not everyone wants that either, you know. They want you to open up to them because that's how it is. But sometimes you can't do that. So just have the strength, I guess, in a way to be who you are and to understand yourself more if you need to come out about something like that. Um, Cause it's tough, you know, and it's scary for a lot of us. I'm lucky to have someone that was so supportive. Um, so just, you know, to everyone out there, you know, that's dealing with something, you know, not being able to tell someone about it or whatever it may be, you know, it doesn't even have to do with, you know, alternative lifestyles or, you know, being pansexual, gender queer, anything like that. It doesn't even have to do with anything like that. If there's something that has been bothering you and you want to get off your chest and tell somebody, do it when you're ready because you'll feel better, they'll feel better, and it has to be in a situation when you both can understand each other and be on the end about it, you know, to where you can talk through it and not fight about it. And there's those occasional people that unfortunately, you know, will do that anyway. They'll fight with you and they'll yell at you, but you can't help who you are and you shouldn't. You can't change that and you shouldn't. So just be open to yourself. That's the first step towards expressing to people around you that you may be coming out of the closet about whatever it may be. So yeah, I probably ranted on for quite a while here, but I hope I got everything out there that I had been trying to say. Um, I know I haven't been doing as many videos lately, um, and life just kind of um, gets me is the problem. Um, I've kind of been going through um, bouts of depression again, so I'm trying to deal with those, and I'm trying to do things for myself and with my family that, you know, make me happy and change that outlook on things. So I've been focusing a lot more on my own life. That's why I haven't gotten as many videos done. But I hope you'll like this video and I'll see you later, bunnies. Love you guys. Over and out.